Okay, folks, now that you've taken this wonderful, fun-filled practice test that made your life better in every single way, uh, you're ready to now start uh, doing the corrections for it. So now, if you haven't corrected the test yet, find somebody who's already corrected the test because they'll have the answers for it and grade it. You, you put a, uh, grade it in red pen, you put a minus one next to all the ones that you've missed and circle in red the correct answer. And then those that you got correct, just put a little check mark next to the, your correctly circled answer. Um, and, uh, and then, you know, if you, get, if you get half of them right, you're doing really, really well, because that, that's, that's a good score. Anyway, um, here's what I want you to do uh, for the corrections. And this is worth, doing this whole thing is worth 20 points. So, uh, and you need to, uh, this is gonna be a time consuming assignment over the next week and a half. Uh, so, here's what I want you to do. Let's say you're doing problem one. Let's say you got problem one. Here's problem one. Let's say you did it right. So, on a separate sheet of paper, you just put number one, you put a check mark next to it. Now, the check mark means, hey, I did it right, I know how it's done, I don't need to do anything further with it, okay? Um, now, but uh, let's say on problem number two, let's say this one, let's say you got it, uh, you got it wrong, you missed it. So let's say, uh, I think actually the answer for this is, uh, is A. So I, I, don't know, I guess I'll stay consistent. But in any case, whatever the answer turns out to be, you work the problem out in detail here. Draw pictures, you know, figure it all out, and then, and then have the correct answer. And then on the other side, on the, on the right-hand side of your paper, and you should do this in uh, portrait, list any equations or important diagrams or descriptions of what you need to know um, to, to do a problem similar to this one. It's kind of like, what is the big idea for this problem? Now, over the weekend, you should be doing this. Now, let's say you get to number three. Let's say you got it wrong, but you don't know, uh, and you know what the right answer is, but you don't know how to get to the right answer. What I want you to do this weekend, before Monday, is give it a good try, but leave plenty of room. This is going to take many pages, and uh, leave space. And we're going to we're going to work it out in class. Okay. So let's say number four. Maybe you got number four correct, and then maybe number three. You don't know how to do, so you leave plenty of room. And then you know number five. Let's say you have to work it out. And here's the correct answer, and then you write down any big ideas that you have. And this is what you're, you're going to do for the whole test. Now, I want to warn you, when I grade these, I'm going to take a, uh, I'm going to grade these myself, and I'm going to spot check them. I'm going to, uh, you're going to have to turn in your graded exam, and then this is going to have to be paper clipped to the back of it, and I am going to uh, uh, really pretty thoroughly spot check to, to make sure that the big ideas and that these are done well. And if you do them well, you'll get 20 out of 20. But if you give me a bunch of word salad or you know some, some explanation that doesn't make sense, uh, you will lose a point or two or three, depending on how bad it is throughout. You know, uh, and, and, and if I spot check one and it's bad, chances are I'm going to spot check more. So do a good job. If you do a good job with this, uh, I think it'll really uh, help, uh, especially uh, those of you who are going to take the AP exam. So anyway, uh, good luck, and I will see you on Monday.